Hello everybody, welcome to the video today. We're here for some official Formula 3 racing, the official series here at Interlagos. Last, um, well, technically last day of the week, or yeah, la <laughs> nearly last day of the week. Not technically last day of the week for us Aussies. Um, we technically the weekends tomorrow morning for us, but pretty much towards the end of the week. But I'd have one last go for this week, one last race um, to finish it off. I uh, will probably won't be able to race for a few days after this, so. Yeah, see how we go. Um, qualified P7 is the two car. That was absolute trash. Definitely had at least a 26 in me, so I should probably almost be top three, really. Um, so the pace is definitely there, which is good. Um, yeah, uh, 2200 strength of field race. The strength of field's not very high, but uh, I did only just split. Um, so And in this time zone, there's obviously not going to be... The softs are generally not going to be too high, but that's fine. As long as it's good enough to get a race, it uh, should be good. But yeah, pace is definitely there, so assuming we don't pleb it, which in the F3 car is just so easy to just push that a little too far and lose it. As long as we don't lose it, have a clean run, then uh, yeah, it should be good. Try and do what we did at Okayama, hopefully, is the, is the plan. But uh, yeah, um, also I think we've got Nim, old Nim Cross in here as well. Mr. Nim is in this race, uh, having a lob apparently. He's uh, the, one of the IO Sync staffers. Um, so yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, so there's that, and um, Tyson Williams is another one there. On number four car is a fellow Australian who have raced a few times, so yeah. See how we go. See how we go. Green, green, green! Clear. Right, one position made already. Good stuff. Car right. Stay on the left. Lots of movement in the F3s are always is though. Keep to the left. Clear Good on start. The right. Already up two spots. Some elbows coming out here while wow, Tyson, I think, has gone from fourth to the lead almost, or second at least by the looks of it. Yeah, that scared the crap out of me. Car oh, right. nearly Clear got the right. Right side. Nearly speared there. Clear. Have to be careful of that. Man, this guy really needs Car to back right. off. Keep to the left. Clear. Oh my god, seriously dude. Thanks mate. That was not my fault. I don't know what he was doing, it was right up my chuff. Every single corner apparently not anticipating someone breaking earlier than them, so... Anyway, we survived just. Now I've got another car to deal with, but I think we're okay damage wise. I don't think it would be anything too heavy. This guy's gonna just spray right up over tape me anyway. You're in fifth. Still there. Still there. Clear. Oh, nice, nice bit of side by side there. Well, there we go. I don't think that was my fault. I'm not going to take the blame initially on initial thought anyway. I mean, I did go a bit defensive there, but I mean, I don't know. I think he just was breaking way too late. He wasn't anticipating me breaking earlier at all, as he saw, but. In almost every corner there, he nearly rear into me about four times, so... It was obvious it was going to eventually happen, but whatever. We're alive, that's all that matters, so... Yeah, P5, so we have gained spots off the line. 20 lap race, so about half an hour, usually about what the race ended up being in F3. A bit like the 2.0 series this was always similar. But yeah, we are... Not out of it. No, the car seems like it's not too bad. Just gotta be so careful out there, it's so easy to loop it there as I didn't qualify. Was on a was on probably four or twenty-six on the second lap. Until I looped it right at that corner. Right, well, let's get the head down, see what we can do. Um, yeah, we should have the pace to catch back up to the lead few, I would say. I think the leader might bugger off down the road, yeah. <laughs> the leader's the lead is long gone, but they did a really stellar qualifying lap, so quite clearly had a pace advantage on the rest of us, so... To be expected, really. It's a bit weird going from driving 
the RSR GTE to the Formula 3 around here because I did a couple of ILMS runs in that yesterday, so it's a bit weird going from that to an F3, but you know, not too bad. Car oh. ahead. Car stopped ahead. Go about, right. about, okay. Oh! Woohoo! <laughs> and Chris has gone behind me. Oh, the poor bugger. I've just escaped, and poor Chris has shat himself and, um, and spun himself. Wow, this is literally a game of survival. It was Tyson, actually. There he goes. I think it was Tyson who leaped it and then kind of dangerously tried to do a flick spin with two of us there. Some interesting driving, considering that, as I said, Nim is uh, in the race, Nim Cross Jr. And those who don't know, Nim is, I think, I'd, see, I don't know if he actually created our racing or was one of the creators or whatever, but I think he was. I'm pretty sure he's one of the creators or something of Iris, I think. So this is my knowledge of IR. Anyway, uh, I know he's one of the staffers at the very least, so yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so <laughs> some interesting driving stats, considering that Nim is in the session. But anyway, all good. I wonder, I wonder if he's got murdered yet. Uh, uh, looks like he may have, yes. There you go, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're up to P4 now, so good stuff. We'll see what else we can maybe gather You're from in this. Fourth position. And this usually seems to be how a lot of them go, these F3 races. I'm, I get some pace early on as everyone gets settled, and then once everyone gets settled, they suddenly, their true pace comes through, and I'm not actually that quick, cause I, as I'm not. So, we'll see though. P4 is good for us, so good. Start a podium would be nice, but, you know, not expecting miracles here. I think the third, number one and three will probably start galloping away now. I think their pace is a bit better than mine. I don't know about the number five, but we'll see. I'll just keep plugging away. Yeah, guy behind's already catching up. Gotta be a bit more aggressive. Hopefully Tyson can start making some make some moves. Hold them both up, that'd be pretty optimal. Yeah, top two are absolutely gone. They've just decided to bugger off. They're, they're out of here. <laughs> on Sayonara suckers and they're well down the road, so I don't think we'll be seeing them much. Seem to keep the Third place there on that lap, so that's good. Much better lap that time by it. Matches my quality lap pretty much, which again was a terrible lap, so... Definitely more pace there. I'm being pretty cautious right now, I just want to... Not blow up. Gap behind more of the stayed the same up. Tyson made the move, so... Probably going to have him on our backside soon. Got him through his pace, he mustn't have got damage in that spin, so he got away with it by the looks of it. Bad lap that time by it. Again, pretty much keeping the gap to the five. Pretty much kept it stable to Tyson behind as well. Looks like everyone behind him is falling back, so... I mean, worst case, it looks like we should be confirmed to top five as we don't spin or anything, so that's good. The PB. Big battling going on back there for P6 as well, by the looks of it. Now P6 
pretty much keeping with Old Mate ahead of us, which is good. Oh, I'm just so paranoid about doing what I did qualifying there and looping it. Looks like Tyson had a pretty bad run through the middle sector, that lap. I didn't really have a particularly good one, but yeah, he must have had a half moment or something, so it's good for us. Again, just keeping that cap to the five car here. We're in this little bit of a stalemate at the moment. It's all about the gaps. Notice over there three, with cars like this, they're a little bit more intricate, a little more difficult to drive on the edge. Um, you get these kind of battles like this. You're not in direct battles, but you're trying to maintain gaps. How good fun, though. I do like the F3s. 3.5s are, are um, something else, but <laughs> they are absolute weapons, the 3.5s. The Renault, Formula Renault 3.5s I've added along with this car. Great fun, but man, they are absolutely crazy. But, um, but yeah, these things are a little, just a little bit more sedated, but still plenty of fun. You can see why these always produced or produce such great racing in real life, because they're all so um, just the way they drive really throw them around and have some fun like that. Be more aggressive out of there. Again, top two are pulling away, but I'm keeping with the bloke immediately ahead and just about keeping Tyson at bay. It's nip and tuck though. I think Tyson will get to me by the end, or before the end, I get a feeling. But as I say, it looks like 6th and 7th are a pretty heavy ding dong battle, so we should be safe in top 5 at worst case. Depending what happens. And if Tyson wants to have, a, have another moment or another spin, I wouldn't be against that. Just putting that out there. <laughs> Not consistently terrible lap times with 27, so that's good. <laughs> At least the consistency's there. The pace might not be, but, you know, consistency's there at least. There's definitely more. It's one of those cars that it's all about who's got the bravery, I suppose, in a way. Who's willing to keep pushing on that edge and able to hold it together and not, not spin it. Now, I'm not quite brave enough, and I'm not quite practiced enough in these cars. I don't drive them enough to be able to do that, so... Yeah, we are absolutely galloping away from the other two behind, but we'll see if that changes. Looks like Raymond has, has managed to clear Nick there, so we'll see what his raw pace is like now he's not battling. Hopefully we've got enough of a gap now that we won't have to worry about it either way. PB, good stuff. There's definitely more pace there. I know I've got more pace. I'm just so fearful of looping it. Yeah, Tyson just keeps closing bit by bit. Tenth or two by tenth or two. Again, I'm keeping the gap to the number five ahead of us. Pretty much line ball at about four and a half seconds thereabouts. Oh, that's a bit, a bit of a dodgy line. So we are still pulling away from Raymond, even in clean air for him, so that's good. Or at least keeping the gap to him at the, at the worst case, so... We're just about to come up on halfway in a lap or two, as well. 
next lap, I think, halfway. So far, it's really been a case of explosions to start, pretty much, and then relative quiet, really. It's, but it's usually how, as I say, it's usually how these races tend to kind of pan out. They tend to have this sort of style in these cars. A lot of movement, a lot of battling and tussle early on, and then it kind of all settles down into a bit of a bit of a rhythm as the race wears on, as everyone's raw pace sort of shows through. It just takes so much speed through there. To watch out for the bomb from Tyson, he's not not afraid to have a bit of a lob. So I have to watch out for that. To be honest, I think he's just got the pace on me. So I don't think there's much point in defending, so yeah, I think I'll just let him have it. A lot of point. Car on your left. It's clearly got me, so. Clear on the left. You've got 10 laps to go. Oof, Tyson on the edge there. I'll see if we can tag on with him. See if we can maybe make some inroads on the five, who seems to be cruising along pretty well like I've been, so... Either way, not too bothered if... Oh man, Tyson, Jesus. Wow. Not, not leaving anything on the table, is he? Just going nuts for it. As I say, I'm pushing, but I'm just trying to keep it straight, really. on edge every corner. Oh, that's a line, I suppose. Interesting how quickly he closes and now he's just all over the joint. Always easier to follow than lead, though. Always is. Yeah, we're still pulling away from... Raymond and Co behind, so we don't have to worry about anyone behind us, assuming that you know, why he's going defensive, why would I bother having a look, Tyson? Anyway, interesting, I don't know you gain much in the slipstream now, so I wonder if I do have damage. It makes sense, because as I say, oh, Tyson. Every corner, he's just nearly losing it. Every single corner. If he just draw, just pull it back a little, you know, just a little bit, it'd be incredible what he'd be able to do, I think, in terms of catching the car ahead, but ragging it so much that he's just losing any time he gains because he makes errors, so... Ooh, not like I nearly did there. Ooh. Don't know, maybe I do have some damage. I don't know. I mean, he did close awfully quick on the slipstream there, so it's actually possible I may have some damage here that I didn't even notice. Like, it's, it isn't steering oddly. It doesn't feel particularly unstable on the brakes. It might just be losing a touch of top end. Maybe the rear wing is a little bent from that contact. Makes sense because he did seem to gain an awful lot in the substream. I know the substream is powerful in these cars, but he did get me before the start finish line, which is a bit sort of. And you saw then I was in the substream with him and I barely was gaining at all, so it's possible that the damage is a little bit more severe than I first thought. That's alright. I mean, <laughs> Best case, absolute best case, would have been third, no matter what, so, you know, end of the day, it's not too bad. Yeah, I think I do actually, yeah. Okay, I'm losing top end by the looks of it, unless Tyson's just running a lower downfall setup than me, also possible. So. Either way, it looks like he has managed to break me, break free now, which is fine. I was kind of expecting that, to be honest, once he got back in the rhythm, so... All good, P5, so as long as we bring it home now, that will be the end result. I'm fine with that. That is fine with me. From 7th, P5 is the 2 car, hopefully shouldn't lose much. Probably end up breaking even IR rating. Should get some good SSR though, hopefully, because I only had the... I think I've only had the 
two times for that contact is the only thing I've got, so... So hopefully, we'll have some nice SR at least, which I kind of need, because I'm a bit low on that at the moment. Six to go next time by. Yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice relaxing race in the end, really, apart from, as I said, the first few laps, a little bit of action, as there usually tends to be, but that's all that, it's been a pretty relaxing little race this one, which has been good, good to get a relaxing race every so often, just get the cruise around, PB, probably helped by the fuel coming down as well. Left the rest of the field for dead. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoops. A bit of curb riding. Hope that didn't damage the underside too much. So yeah, <laughs> so apologies if it's been a bit of a sedated, quiet one um, here, but yeah, just, just, yeah, been one of those kind of races really, I'm kind of enjoying having a nice quiet race, You've got good to have one every now and then, just sort of cruise around, you know, not push too hard, just bring it home, that kind of deal. So like Tyson in here at a moment there, but looks of it. There. I don't know how much I seem to gain on Tyson through the middle part of the track. It is possible he may just have a uber low down pull set up. More than any damage from me. It makes sense, but we'll see. Have a look post race. Oh man, where the hell was that going? There's always a problem about using the curbs in 
this car because it's so low, you can end up kind of riding along on bikes and there you go. That's all right. So that'll be a slow lap, but it's fine. Got about five laps of fuel. Okay, fuel in reserve. Just getting the sunset here at Interlagos. Quite nice. Good, good time of day. Selected for this this week for F3. Not going to lie, from IR. You can see the sunset as we get into the race towards the end. Fuel's pretty much bang on too, which is nice. That was a bit weird, that was actually car kind of reacted a bit oddly, but it's alright. So we should have three to go this time by. You got a slow oh, car Tyson's gone land. again. Oh, nearly gone, gee. Must have been that close to going off there. That's the thing for Tyson, if he wasn't making these errors, he'd be in third probably. I'd say, on pace wise, but just keeps making errors. That's why number five is in third, because he's just been keeping a clean, pumping in decent laps. I mean, overall, I've been pretty much matching him pace wise. Oh! And he is so close to going. I don't think we're going to have a shot at him, because as I say, I just don't have any top end, which, again, sports the theory there, he's, either he's got a really dead low downforce set up, or I do actually have some damage that's affecting top to end. Go. don't know which of the two it is, but it's definitely one of them. Let's see, look, I'm in his slipstream, I just, I'm not getting anything. He's actually pulling, if anything, in the slipstream, so he is, yeah, so... Don't know. Don't know if it's damage or if it's a different setup, but either way, unless he has a major error, I think he'll stay ahead. I swear to God, every single corner in here looks like he's going to loop it or bin it. Oh man. Last lap next time by though. And, uh, yeah, as I say, been a pretty good race, really. Good fun, you know, just... Bells, good bells at the start. As I say, if I do actually have damage, and that's why I've got... It's not getting any top end down the straight. And it would be a shame, because it means that I probably would have had the pace to catch third if I didn't have that. Or at least battle for third, potentially, but... As I say, that would have been best case, to be fair. There was no way I was catching the top two there, just in their own league up there, so... You just got the white flag. That means one more lap to go. I'll have a look, though, in the replay afterwards, and it should be pretty clear. Even from the gearing, I mean, it's still, still nearly topping out down the straight, so... Tells me I really, I think it might well be that he just has a lower downfall setup, which, as I say, might explain why he's so skittish through the corners. Just sort of fanging it through the corners and getting all the benefits down the straights. Either way, whatever. 
It should hold on to P5. I'd be curious to know how many finished, but good feeling not that many. Especially with a few instances on the early laps. Oh, wow, that's slow, but anyway. Nearly looped it out of the last corner. God, what a, a time to nearly loop it. It won't matter. You're still going to have the speed to keep it. But there you go. Well, there you go. Get old F3, official F3. Add in the Lagos. And, uh, yeah, should come home fifth place from seventh as the two car. As I say, fun little race, fun little race. I had fun. Some good fun at the start. Got a nice start. Oh, there you go. Do a PB at the end. All right, there's the chicken flag. Um... Yeah. Great job, you did really well. Yeah, good fun overall, as I say. It's good fun at the start, with some overtakes and all that kind of thing. Um, and yeah, and then just sort of getting in the rhythm. This tends to be the case with a lot of these races, just getting in rhythm, pumping out some laps. And yeah, ending up P5, so uh, yeah, good fun. Solid fun, I had, I had a good time with that one. Always good to lob the F3, it's a, a good, good little car to lob around the circuit. So, uh, yeah, there you go. We get to see some sun setting here in Lagos. Just about to get into the evening here as we finish the race. So, again, hope you guys enjoyed the video as per normal. Until next time, it's bye for now.